The government stands firmly behind the international call for an immediate ceasefire so that there could be urgent and effective relief efforts in Palestine for food and medical supplies to the suffering. In his Eid al-Fatir message, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said Muslims, like other religions, have met crises over the centuries. Dr. Rowley expressed prayers from his heart for those two million plus followers who are caught in the struggle in the Gaza. He said when questioned, believers respond that their inspiration and devotion are strengthened through their daily reading of the Quran, which for them is unquestionably the word of Allah. The Prime Minister said Trinidad and Tobago is a land of religious diversity and traditions, and it is praiseworthy that it can share with the Islamic community as it recognizes the omniscience, omnipotence, omnipresence of an infinitely loving God. He encouraged the population to see this religious observance as one of Trinidad and Tobago's expressions of its national unity and its support and respect for its religious diversity.